Hello. Good afternoon and welcome to the very last day of our summer vacation. I am Mr. Diddle, your third grade teacher, and I'm going to read a book to get us ready for tomorrow, our first day of third grade. And the book is First Day Jitters by Julie Danneberg, illustrated by Judy Love. First Day Jitters. First Day Jitters. Sarah, dear, time to get out of bed, Mr. Hartwell said, poking his head through the door bedroom doorway. You don't want to miss the first day at your new school, do you? I'm not going, said Sarah, and pulled the covers over her head. Of course you're going, honey, said Mr. Hartwell, as he walked over to the window and snapped up the shade. No, I'm not. I don't want to start over again. I hate my new school, Sarah said. She tunneled down into the end of her bed. How can you hate your new school, sweetheart? Mr. Hartwell chuckled. You've never been there before. Don't worry. You liked your other school. You'll like this one. Besides, just think of all the new friends you'll meet. That's just it. I don't know anybody, and it will be hard, and I, I, I just hate it. That's all. What will everyone think if you aren't there? I mean, we told you. We told them that you were coming. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. They will think that I am lucky and they will wish that they were home in bed, just like me. Mr. Hartwell sighed. <sighs> Sarah Jane Hartwell, I'm not playing this silly game one second longer. I'll see you downstairs in five minutes. Sarah tumbled out of bed and then stumbled into the bathroom. She fumbled into her clothes. My head hurts, she moaned as she trudged slowly into the kitchen. Mr. Hartwell handed Sarah a piece of toast and her lunchbox. They walked to the car. Sarah's hands were cold and clammy. They drove down the street. She couldn't breathe. And then they were there. I feel sick, said Sarah weakly. Nonsense, said Mr. Hartwell. You'll love your new school once you get started. Oh, look, there's your principal, Mrs. Burton. Sarah slumped down low into her seat. Oh, Sarah, Mrs. Burton gushed, peeking into the car. There you are. Come on, I'll show you where to go. real low. She led Sarah into the building and walked quickly through the crowded hallways. Don't worry, everyone is nervous on the first day, she said over her shoulder as Sarah rushed to keep up. When they got to the classroom, most of the children were already in their seats. The class looked up as Mrs. Burton cleared her throat. <clears throat> class, class, attention please, said Miss Burton. When the class was quiet, she led Sarah to the front of the room and said, Class, I would like you to meet your new teacher, Mrs. Sarah Jane Hartwell. The end. New things are always different, and sometimes different can seem scary or tough, but it's just different. It's just new, and it will be that way until it's not. So I hope that you get a good night's sleep. I hope that you are rested and excited for tomorrow, our first day of third grade, and I will see you just outside those windows down by the Beagle Dog statue tomorrow at about 8, 10 in the morning. Okay, can't wait for our first day of third grade. Bye.